right? It's not all about the technology, but to help people understand why this is critical to the business, the business being successful. Why are we, why are we doing this? And I think so often, you know, having a technology background myself, all right, I get caught up in the technology and how cool the technology is, but, but really to focus on why are we doing this? Why is it critical? What's it going to give us as a business? We're hyper competitive. Um, we, uh, we will all compete the heck out of each other and steal each other's business away from each other. Um, and we do it, why? I mean, we do it on servicing, certainly, but you're not gonna get there just from servicing. You gotta do it on price. So you've gotta drive the price, your expenses down. And so automating a lot of you know manual processes into singular uh, automated processes, uh, AI, um, I mean, I think those are, the, those are the main things from my perspective that I, that I see as, uh, um, as objectives. From our standpoint, what we define a hybrid application is essentially when there is a combination of a public cloud and a private cloud. But I think the most important thing to note is it's not just two isolated islands. There's active data sharing and application sharing that goes on. Um, so it's important to understand that they're both, both equal participants in this whole ecosystem. So they're getting more innovative now. They're, we kind of find a um, settling into some of the norms, but we're moving that to let's find out what do we need to do to build the business back. Stop worrying about yesterday, moving into the present and designing for the future and what those future applications needs, what our end customers need. And you know, we are seeing you know, for, you know, for code conversion projects, you know, yes, complex uh, you know, long-term projects, they're typically taking you know, between 12 and 36 months and, and longer, depending on the size of the environment. But um, you know, we've we seen you know, high double-digit returns on investment for, you know, for these types of projects. Now, in last one year, when we were completing our phase one of cloud journey, we realized that multi-cloud or hybrid cloud is more of a necessity rather than a luxury. As organizations are having to push forward with a cloud adoption in a very rapid manner, make sure, you know, if you're the security leader, look at those initiatives and, and try to look for opportunities of layering in what your needs are, uh, whether that's web application firewalls or cloud access brokers. Um, you know, there's, there's just tons of opportunity here. I think it's fantastic to see Everybody has a well-rehearsed business continuity plan now. That's something that we probably all talked about and didn't never train enough for. Um, and you know, things like phishing training and awareness, you know, take advantage of this to talk to your executive teams and say, hey, it's important now more than ever. We should start testing more. We should start reinforcing uh, education and really taking a, a deeper look at that as well as just third-party risk management. You know, we're not alone or, or you're not alone. Uh, we're all in this together. Uh, it sounds very cliche. But in the uh, cybersecurity space, I, I think it's important uh, to lean on our peers and our colleagues for what are you doing?